with it coming from the coach, um, the support that uh, you know I have from him, from the team, um, it, it means a lot. But you know, for me, I'm just focused literally on trying to get our guys ready for next week. I know you're a focused quarterback, and closeness has been the block to everything out. But how do you compartmentalize everything that flows with Sean and the rest of the Yeah, you know what's funny is I heard uh, Jake just say he doesn't have cable. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that don't have cable to, um, so I'm not able to turn on my TV and watch what's going on um, to see the news and whatnot. Now, obviously, I know social media is a big deal, but really, I only hear from uh, or hear about those things you know, from my agents or if it comes from Ann Nolan or if Coach wants to sit down and uh, talk to me about uh, things like that. So that's kind of how I, I find out uh, you know, a lot of the talk that's going on. So did you have to sit down with Coach Flores after this, or was it just in the team meeting? No, I, I had a, I had many sit downs with, with Coach Flores. Um, I mean, if you if you will, we we pretty much talk every day, you know, whether it's a private conversation in his office or a private conversation to the side before practice starts, whatever it may be, we we're always talking. What about um, Steven Ross? Have you talked to Steven Ross? I've never I've never got to talk to Mr. Ross unless it was after a football game.